Okay. I didn't check to see if the audio is working. That's working. And the game seems to be working. So, hi everybody. Hey. Welcome back. Yes, we're about to fall back into this game. I mean, jump. Jump back into this game. <laughs> yep. Because unlike some people, we know how to jump. Yeah. Maybe not very high or very far or very well, but... Yeah, our goal is to beat this today on our end. Yep. So we can get this out to you guys as quickly as possible. Uh, last time we played Conrad, Connie, our Bobby Iceman. Did not make it. He did not make it. Julia's brother. She was very sad. Yep. This ship so... must be cursed. It's the only way we can explain all this evil shit that's happening down there. Let's just stay calm. So yeah, relatively sane Julia's enough. probably a wreck. Yep. What the fuck happened to my brother? Someone had to have seen him before he... <clears throat> oh shit, did I Fliss see him? Oh shit, she did. I saw him fall. Yeah, not jump. Notice he didn't jump. Yep. Oh, you idiot. Wow, Julia. I control your character. This is Julia's goddamn brother you're talking about. Do not about. insult she me. She deserves to know the truth. You asked me what I saw, I told you everything. That better be true. Wow. Did you happen to see Brad down there? My, uh... Whoa. Brotherly instincts are going pretty First time he's now. cared about Brad this whole game. I know. Oh, this is you. Oh, crap. I don't even think it told me, uh... It didn't. I thought we were playing as Julia. Did I see Brad? Oh, yeah. We saw I was him playing and... Brad, and he, like, was chased by the... Ki the we Not chased by, but he was seeing some creepy shit yeah. after going through the PT hallway. He, yep, and then she briefly saw him... Um, going through the hallway and that was pretty much it because yeah. then she got attacked by the by skeletor yeah so you're just gonna say nothing okay sorry i didn't god damn it at least not for a while come on what the hell are you man on the ship the stuff i saw somewhere it's like there were these old soldiers they were bodies they were dead but then they came alive and that doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Oh, look, he's actually the listening. Only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? Uh, no, I know, it's just... I don't, just can't right now, because we keep about, getting attacked by Alex. But what about the other all Alex's, things, Alex? But not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. Yeah, there's the curator did tell us it. there's got to be something more. What can we absolutely be sure about? Scientific. Yeah. What do we know that's real? I'm real. Oh, is this me? This is me. Oh god. Oh, this one just... is jumping all around. Um. Uh. Did you see the gold? Anything? Yeah. Might be time to accept there's just... no gold here. Would have seen it by now. But maybe you'll hold on to it. Oh yeah. Okay. And then I'll just tell you if it pops up with. See probing. What do you think actually happened to this place? No idea. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. Uh -huh. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, yeah, that's stinky, an understatement. weird. Yeah. And I don't like it. Me either, Julia. It's hard to tell what's real around here. I mean, that's the whole point of this fucking conversation. Why does she keep saying the same stuff? I don't know. It's like they really want you to ask what if this is a ghost ship. On this ship. Where did they all go? You can smell death everywhere. Maybe this is like another looping scenario. Where corpses come from? Apparently, getting scared to death is an actual thing. Because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. We know more than we did before. Do that's we? At least. We're wasting time. We all knew this. We we as in now. me and you. Time to get off this ship. Yeah. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. I don't the know Duke how much y'all actually know. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? What part of 1947 did you forget? There. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, sure, there's a bunch of lights still on. Which I was about to point out, David. It's your turn. Uh, okay, we got an official player now. <laughs> okay. So. Hey. Hey, hey Julia. I'm... Sorry to try to murder you last episode. Yep. Sorry about your brother, and uh, you know, I also haven't seen my brother, so. 
We gotta get off this damn ship. We might both be missing brothers yeah. now. But hey, look, at least it's peaceful right now. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. So I was thinking... As long as we just don't go back below he deck. He would jump in the water. Or I thought he would jump on that very firm steel plate that looks like a pillow. Oh, it just... I know it sounds crazy. Do something. Maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. I mean, that's a strong possibility. It is a sound possibility. Yeah, because I guess, what, he would have been up there in the back. Yeah. And then... Still, like... He didn't even drop down to the deck directly below I him. Know. He dropped down to the deck below the deck. That's what I mean. Like, he could have just literally went sideways and had a significantly less of a fall. Sure, you still would have been really high up with a thing chasing you, but... It would I'm have bought curious. you a little more time than just plummeting to your death. I'm very curious to see other people play this. Or, like, to go back and play it myself to see what would happen if Conrad didn't yeah. jump... Also, quote unquote jump. I'm also curious to see how many people uh, do have him jump, jump and their reactions to. Could he use these if they weren't Swiss cheese? You know it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, could have used a whole lot of things if they were still in working order. No, yeah, no, we're heading back inside. Don't do it. Yeah, this probably is not the best scenario for us. Like, things seem so normal on top of deck. Alright, we need to also pay attention to their clothes, because remember what happened to Fliss last time? Yep. So, we know she's has an orange shirt and the blue shorts. And Julia's got a pink shirt and jean shorts. Yep, with it tied off. And he naturally has the shirt with the different color sleeves, shorts, and no tattoos. And then, yes, the tattoos are important because I think that was. Uh, yeah, the other one was definitely Olson. Olson, that's his name. With Alex's face, and then My obviously Alex and Julia both have shoes. Fliss doesn't. Oh, I was trying to figure out Olson's name, and all my brain would say is Ollivander. I'm like, that's not right. <laughs> Curious. Gas mask instructions. Always ensure your gas mask is fitted before assisting anyone else with theirs. If you detect gas or hear the gas alarm, one, do not panic. Remain calm and clearly shout, gas, 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 to warn anyone in the vicinity. Hold your breath. Attach the gas mask car two, attach the gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm. Pull the shoulder sling over your right shoulder and hook it onto the bag. Hook the belt around your waist. Three, remove your helmet. Pull the mask up to your face with both hands. Put your chin inside the mask first. Then pull your face and the harness straps over your head. Oh, pull the mask over your face. I read that wrong. I was like, wait, pull your face over your head? Four. <laughs> Remove any potential tra potentially trapped gas. Close the outlet valve and breathe out sharply. Then push any remaining air out of the mask with your hands. Five. Check for leaks by tightly squeezing the flexible cover, uh, flexible curated hose with your hand and inhaling. The mask should crumple around your face. Six, if the mask does not crumple, there may be a leak. Readjust the mask to ensure it is snug. Then repeat the process above the mask, or until the mask crumples to ensure there are no leaks. You know, I really hope we don't end up having to, uh... Need a gas mask? Yeah, like with pressure of, oh god, how the hell do I, what were those steps again? Oh, crap, 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 crap. Because I can guarantee you, I'm not going to remember all that. That's a lot of steps for putting on a gas mask. Especially if things are moving quickly. Uh oh, are we going to give somebody a boost? We might. Hey, a little help over here. That's, that's right, separate the party. It always works out well. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. Oh. So they're giving him a lift. Interesting. I'll pull you up. Oh, I guess that's why. Okay, so maybe we aren't going to fully separate. I was a little uh, worried we were going to fully separate. I was afraid you were going to leave my ass behind. Okay, I was like, I don't like that fade to black there. But they're just, I guess, passing time. 
I guess, yeah, because the, you don't know how many characters you... Well, you would have probably only three characters in this moment because they separated Brad and Conrad, so even if Conrad was alive... Actually, no, if Conrad was alive, maybe he'd be with them. Yeah, maybe he would have got down and they would have met up and... And he'd have been like, I don't know what fucking was going on. His death probably is going to have a huge impact for the rest of the game. Yeah, maybe just a little. Hey, Fliss, where the hell did you go? Well, obviously not that way. Yep. Unless she can fly. Which, good for her. That means she could definitely get to safety. There she is. I was wondering what was down that back hallway, because I was like, that's going to be an area we miss. Yeah. This is... This is where I chased Conrad before. She chased Conrad? I don't remember that. What if over here the ghost Conrad thought was really Fliss like, dude, got to wait through here. What's going on? And he's like, ah, running away. That's what I was wondering when she was saying she had saw him fall. Like, what if she was going after him and all he saw was a creepy, uh, oh, it's possible. I didn't expect us to all go in. Sh damn it. I should have kept going down the other way. Maybe there was nothing, but I just thought it was going to be a, let's look through this window, and... <laughs> yeah. Didn't think he was actually going to go inside here. So maybe evil Sailor Jenny was, uh, Fliss. Yeah, could be. That would make a lot of sense, honestly, if the gas is hallucinatory like we think. Yeah, because otherwise it's a little weird for evil Sailor Jenny to have been on the ship. Yeah. And with a bunch of just... Hey, David. Uniformed World War II veterans. You want to see a dead body? You mean like this one? What? What? It would make more sense than the ghost thing, but I'm also not convinced there isn't a ghost thing. Yeah, I, I don't know because until I'm not Dawn willing... was very like scientific until. Yeah, I'm not ruling out anything until confirmed. Oh. Oh. Well. Okay. That was Junior, wasn't it? Yeah. See, the thing is, you can't tell if he shoots himself or if somebody shoots him. Yeah, because that's a very, uh... Interesting angle. Yeah. It is called Loose Cannon. <sighs> so it could go either way. Yep. Okay, so we got a door that way, but we got something shiny over there. Is there anything... I don't know. Nope, yep. Yeah! We got a logbook. Always with very similar uh, covers. Alright, what is this? Last so, one shows them caught in a storm. Storm force, straight strength, weather is exceptional, with severe light, several lightning strikes hitting OM, are causing no sustained damage, we are leaking water, but it's under control. So, big storm, they leaked a little bit, got struck by lightning. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great. Yep. But as we saw, the lightning was what struck and caused everything to oh, start. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're right. It was the catalyst. Damn it. There's so many things that... Ah, I don't know what to go with first. I think that's it. Right? Well, was there there's... something else over here? Yeah, there's this doorway over here that has... Okay. Well, I imagine that'll go back out on deck, so try it. Yeah. I didn't notice it was a door at first since it's all black. Um, damn it. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yep, locked. All right. So yeah, go to the other one. Yeah, because there's also this open doorway. I just want to see if that's where they went. Find the radio yet? Yep. The other one's probably locked. No, but there's yeah. not a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. Okay, we got a... Big painting. Oh no, it's oh, a map. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? Huh. So they have a planned route versus an actual route. Yep. So they definitely very much, as we already knew, kind of had Maybe. something on board that they didn't want other people knowing about. Yeah, they had something they didn't want people to find. 
which very much seems to correlate with those coffins. I hear a radio. Yeah. It's probably through that door. It's also probably made up. Well, that's a blank note. But... Uh, what? Of course, cloud hey, I got a trophy. That. They couldn't establish a position. Uh, heavy storm blown off course, port of hood... Uh, 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 Excessive lightning strikes, drift in shallow waters. Somebody got unknown. knocked overboard and the search was called off. So that was probably the guy who jumped. And then they had such heavy cloud cover they couldn't figure out their Wait, position. They, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yep. And see the uh, last couple were all during those periods of them trying to make the radio contacts and being able the to... The one o'clock time frame, yeah. You're yeah. right. Because this is June 22nd, notice. Yeah. So that is the first thing we've seen that's gone past June 21st. That we've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. So... Okay. Alright, let's head towards this noise that's probably going to start making us all go crazy. It's just a radio. Oh, right, there was that guy in the radio room who yeah, died. That's gross. Remember? Like yeah. This poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Mayday call broadcast. Radio contact intermin er, intermittent. Attempted Morse SOS. Many crew dead. Hmm. Sounds pretty desperate. I die. Or it's ID. Edie? <laughs> I know it's I die because there's a space in the translation. Yeah. His name was Edie, or he was calling out to his love. Yep. One final time. Take a look. I like that they stopped in the hallway. Like, there's got to be a radio. No freaking way. You can only this hear it from the hall. The worst? <laughs> well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. As long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. You are not... Mm. We've already proved you really don't know anything about... Honestly... Julia or Fliss should be doing this, because Fliss knows about ship radios, but Julia seems to be the science person. He's he's like a medical doctor, right? Yeah. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello. As he's also the one calling on the radio. Holy shit! We got him! Uh... Ooh, are you gonna be frantic or instructive? Uh... Hmm. He's hmm. an excited person. Look at that relationship with Julia. Holy crap on a cracker. Now that is a married couple. Look at that relationship with Fliss. <laughs> yeah. That is not a married couple. Actually, that is half of married couples. Yeah. That's very much the fact that he keeps accusing her for everything. He really does, and it makes no sense uh, why. Are, are you sure you didn't see what happened to her brother? What about my brother? Did you see what happened to Ollivander? He's a cool guy. I know he kidnapped us, and he gave Harry the wrong wand. He didn't, <laughs> actually. Don't. Don't. I'm just being bullshitty. <laughs> uh, but let's see. He's aggressive, excited, motivated, and secure. Uh, I don't know. They've been acting pretty calm so far. All right. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates. If they were being chased at the moment, it probably would be a different story. Yeah. But they've had a little bit of peace to kind of catch their Please breath. Get here now. We need help. Starting to get a little anxious. The screen got Freedom. super dark Freedom. there for a sec. Huge yeah. And old. Hello, hello. Is anyone out there? Makes me Please wonder come uh, in. how what much the bearings are. That and just how much of this they're just hallucinating. I was thinking the same thing because the other guy in the in it was using Morse code. He wasn't. Yeah. Oh, but they couldn't establish radio contact, so it's probably why they were trying to send yeah. out more signal. But now all the power just went out. Are we really looking down the hole in the floor? Apparently. Why would we? There's something this down there, I think. Lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. That's not the I most logical way to think about getting the power back on. I'll go. Obviously. 
I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. I'm still the captain of something, and the captain's telling you that I'm going to. All right. Why don't we all just Julie, go? Please. Yeah. Why do we gotta split the party? Yeah. Well, now that we got a moment of, let's see. All right. So. Alex and Fliss went down the hole in the radio room for the distributor cap. Is it really just going to be the two of them? I think Julie is going too, but I oh, think it's... specifically the fact that they are it survived at this point in the game to be here. Yeah, is is what's what's the big thing? Well, I just say because he even was saying, "Okay, you and me, Fliss." But like y'all better not leave Julie. Or uh, just... If they leave Julie, I'll be pissed. Like, and then there's the kitchen no knife and military band. Reason to leave her up there by herself. So scroll. So, up. Found a knife. Uh, after getting out of water, we were chased. Uh, and we escaped. Which we did last time, so that's not anything new. Back yeah. out. Military bandwidth. There we this go. This one should be new. So we, we knew we found the captain's hat. Yep. Uh, the group discovered a radio and made contact with a military station. They gave their coordinates. So, okay. So the yeah. fact that you gave coordinates might save us in yeah. the end. It's also interesting that that branches from the finding the captain's hat so i'm interested to see how that might carry play out by around. the end yeah uh and then obviously we're still missing one we're still so, missing one it's probably related to brad probably since we haven't really had much time with him at all throughout this game oh uh whoop. well they're dead look what you did david how dare you sir damn it cutscenes. <laughs> y'all should have Y'all shouldn't have jumped. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what happens when you jump. All right, it's Alex. Okay, still. fall. So still you. I mean, both of them are you. Right. Yeah. And Julia didn't go with them. Really, Julia? I know we just fell and probably hurt ourselves, but are you really just gonna stand up there by yourself? Okay. Okay. At least she's saying something. Play. I was about to say, I don't think he's going to be a dick in this yeah. moment. We're going we to play it cool. <gasps> you probably got maximum bonding with her. So we can power the radio. Yeah. Here by the radio. Really? That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. To but leave one person by the radio to continue giving coordinates once the power comes back. Yeah, except for the part of everything that's happening currently. So we know if things go smoothly, we're going to get back and she's not going to be there. Who knows? Maybe if Conrad had lived, he would have been with her. True. Yeah, exactly where I want to be. The lower levels. Lower, lower uh, levels. We're heading back towards the sick bay. Ooh. Going down to sick bay. Oh, that is it. You know your tab is growing by the hour now, huh? Hourly now? I would have thought we graduated to charge by the minute. Noted. In your invoice. Hey, what do we got here? Uh, oh no, that's something we already found. Yep. Someone named Joe was in the sick bay. Nice to see him commenting on things again. Yeah. Uh, medical officer's report. Minutes of meeting between Scientist X. Sure. CWO Walter Bishop and CWO Tom Palmer with Sergeant Peter Wood observing and mm, X for meeting with our team and says we can mutually learn eh, for the same thing. The Western world must be protected from burp. The United States has been aware of certain agencies investigating the <laughs> chemical and biological agents in warfare. Our act, limited by the Geneva Protocol, have experiments we are able, unable to describes an investigation during to test the effects of human subjects of the molecule, the molecule crystal structure hallucinogens code name Manchurian Gold, chemical munitions battle. It was even relatively minor observed to trigger significant hallucinations. Men highly convincing subjects seeing and hearing things that were not really there. Even the danger was manifold, and it is 
in its intensity. Yeah, so, so yeah, Conrad probably should have confronted the thing and he would have seen it was an hallucination. But so we now know Manchurian gold is the name for a chemical agent. Yep. Because we always got to find some kind of chemical so warfare. Like to... sort of faint and this Charlie went to the brig. In that Private Charles Anderson, on leave from duty, did display intoxication in a manner not becoming... I think we already read this one. Yep, steps were taken to ensure... Uh, yeah, we did read that. Because we read... We are... So you were saying we are going back to the sickbay. We're literally back where we were, because that's what we read. Yeah, because we also read this one, because that was the list of people who had gotten in trouble. And that's the wall where the blood smear was. Yeah. So this is where we found Charlie. Yep. So yeah, there's the... Yeah. So, I don't know if we just missed that note last time, or... It, we might have, or the door might have, like, fallen off. Yep. So, yeah, very much back near where we started, which means we're probably going to go through one of these doors we earlier couldn't go through. That's fine. Just sounds of something banging. As one does. We got an open door. Okay, that's a dead end. What's inside the doorway? Okay, we got a walkway and a ladder. So, is there anything out here that you were looking at? Since you guys always just. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you have time to hear about no. our Lord and Savior, Ghost Ship? Never mind. Guess you can't walk that way. Okay. So. We got a ladder, anything up ahead? Nope. Okay, guess we're dropping down the ladder. I'm sure that'll be fine. Come take a look. Look, down there. I think that's the engine room. You're right. Let's go down there. Shit. No more ladder. I can drop the rest of the way. Hey! This might be where Brad is. That's what I was wondering. Are you okay? Oh, this is where Junior shot yeah. himself. Fine. Oh. Come on down. I want to say, I'm pretty sure y'all can make that drop. Oh! oh. Bare, on bare feet! Oh, I felt that. Oh. I felt that in my loins. My balls just sucked up into my body with that one. Oh. Oh. Fuck! God damn that it. hurt. What? Yeah. You didn't fucking see that? Uh huh. It's starting back up. He didn't. See what? Yeah, I think I'm actually seeing clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. So, the ship was carrying Manchurian gold. But that turned out not to be gold at all. It's a toxic chemical. And there's this weird yeah, fog. I mentioned that right now. <laughs> well, yeah, that I love that they never share what they maybe read. Maybe we're breathing it in and it's fucking us right the hell up. This is kind of making sense. None of that stuff happened. I was hallucinating. We knew the crew was scared of something and that could be it. Yeah. <sighs> Which means I killed Conrad for nothing? Does this have anything yep. to do with the wrecked plane from the dive? I don't know. It seems like the plane came in contact with the ship, but it's just a theory. Wow. Well, so if other powers were trying to get it, maybe those were like enemy... That was an enemy ship, maybe? Well, no, because it was it like was... a U.S. ship. Yeah. So. Well, maybe they thought it was like a sky yeah. demon, or maybe yeah, they thought it they was were... an enemy if they were hallucinating and they shot it down. Yep. That hallucination, they very much just saw, uh... An enemy. Okay. Alright, it's just, it's a 1920s engine. Yep. Now watch. This is gonna be that moment where it's like, hey, we're hallucinating. Oh shit, no, this is real. Which <laughs> engine did, did we actually have on the ship? I don't remember! This really is a cloaked figure that's trying to kill me, not a hallucination. Well, I'm wondering how the hallucinogen is made, because I'm curious of if it's being siphoned off of a creature. I'm wondering, because, yeah, we got more gas down here. Is this just looping back around? Because I feel like there's got to be something real. Maybe the ghosts aren't real, but there's got to be something that's, that's, that's real. Yeah, which... Like, to incite that level of automatic fear death? Yeah, it could very much play back into those wooden coffins that were locked and chained up. Exactly, that's that's what I'm thinking. Very much probably was something locked on board of those. 
I found it. Hey, it's working. Kind of. No wonder the power keeps cutting out. This thing is barely running. Just Gee. throw the switch and let's go back upstairs. Who would have thought it'd barely be running after all these years? I doubt that's gonna work. Okay. Let's get back up there. We'll have to find a I'm new way. I'm thoroughly surprised that was all you had to do. <sighs> oh, thank God. Same. Listen, you have to help us get out of here. I just know something's about to happen. Please your situation over. Help! I, I can't explain. We're just... We're in danger. Don't you get it? We need help. Please. Over. I need food. I don't trust that guy. Come on, come on, nope. come on. I do not trust the nameless voice. Nope. It could very much be a matter of, uh oh, somebody found that ship. Yeah. Or just, you know, hallucinations. I think or it's just, a hallucination. Yeah, same. We have no idea what it is. But then there's the problem now. We have to roam this underbelly of the ship trying to find a way back up. What the? No. What? Hey. No. Look at this. No. That's when all no. breather. That's when all kinds of things are gonna I happen. Had the fisherman brought it from the Duke. You think it still works? I wonder if the rebreather will help Scott, them like a few minutes of air left. Or taking with us? Maybe. It's gonna slow us down. Mm, no, nah, forget it. It's too heavy to drag along with us. Uh oh, David, big moment. This is like Matt and the flare gun. Yep. Mm. And both of them are your characters. I know. So the question is, it's big and it'll slow you down. So if you're being chased, yep. it won't do well. But you know that there's really only three people you need to be afraid of if the hallucinations are all that they are. Yeah. But the weird part is, he's the one who said to leave it. <laughs> but he also likes to contradict her, so now that she's agreeing, he might just go against the... Well, no, he asked, didn't he? And she said to leave it. I thought that's what just happened. I could have missed it. Well, he was saying kind of like it's big, it'll slow us down. Well, she just said those words. That was yeah, her. That's what I mean. She kind of agreed with him. I don't know. Maybe I misheard him, but it seemed like he was kind of suggesting like we can take it, but it's a lot to carry around. Uh... What's he gonna do? You know what? Let's take it. No, we should take it. Parts of the ship are completely underwater. He should just honestly put it on like a backpack. Yeah, it'll get dropped even more. Did it? Yep, just a little smidget. Uh oh. We got Olsen and Danny. No. Oh no, Danny! Stop, please! No! Danny, no! I liked Danny. Alright, well, Olsen is definitely the one that was chasing us because he's holding the yeah. knife Alex had. That's what I mean. He has the knife, he's got the tattoos. Oh no! Did he stab him in the crotch? I think probably just like the stomach. Okay, well that angle was not very good. Okay, yeah, stomach. There's the distributor cap, David. Oh god. Am I gonna have to be the one that watches out for whatever it is that crushes it? Oh no. What are you what are you doing? You have a And now he realizes what's happened and he's freaking out. You have a bag that's going to slow you down, and you're going to have to quickly grab the distributor cap. Yep. Oh, it's your first time doing it. You just hit it when it's in the thing. Uh, oh, damn it. Oh, shit! You messed it up. First time messed up, David, and it was your fault. I know. Still Alex. Oh no, and she's carrying it? He was carrying it a moment ago. What the hell, Alex? Why would you let her do this? You're the one that wanted to take it. You freak out, so you go here. There's no use hiding, you little foot. 
No, you could have gotten this distributor cap if you hadn't. No. Just like Conrad be alive if I had. There's like that weird delay though with that. It is. And we're all in this together, right? I gotta get used to that. Damn it. Oh shit, okay. You can't have all the gold. <laughs> really? You messed up first try! How the hell? Alright. Well, this is probably where Alex is gonna die. Or Fliss. One of them. I'm going Alex, because we saw the thing of his head getting slammed into the window. True. Okay. How... How strong do you think this door is? Not very. Well, I think they dropped the, uh... Oh, come on. None of you go all changing on me now. Oh no. Man, this is getting bad. Slow. This is getting very Slow. bad. I knew it was going to, because I was like, there's no way we just get the power on and just okay. casually stroll right. back up to the uh, surface. No changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said, no changing. What is he What's seeing? No one has to get hurt. You think I wanted to hurt anybody? No. I didn't get a choice in this, did I? It's in you too, isn't it? Yes. Isn't it now? All of us? Uh-oh. Ah, not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? What's changing? Don't Stay move away. forward! Stay back from the Caref mist! Careful, Flesh. Hey, oh, Flesh. man. Don't breathe it. Don't breathe the mist! See, he figured it out. He knows. Yeah. Uh, I know what I would pick. Well, I don't know why he's asking. Like, he knows what the mist does. But maybe he wants to hear what he thinks the mist does. True. That's what I was kind of thinking, as opposed to making him freak out more by, uh... By being like, dude, there's nothing around! Wait... What is this mist? What does it do? It's life. Uh huh. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. An undead mist. It's okay. Inside now. Inside with us now. You need to slow down. Stop. Stop. In the name of love. It's in one of us, isn't it? Oh god. Put the gun down now. Why would you say that? Oh god. Fliss. Why are you telling me what to do? Bad I breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Oh god. I know what I would do. I know what I would do. I know what's gonna happen if I say the one. He's then gonna freak out and think I breathed in the mist. But if Maybe I say the other know. one, he's going to freak out and agree that somebody breathed in the mist. You don't know. This <sighs> game does not tell you a lot. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm going to give it a shot. I would have gone with the other one, so that's interesting. Oh. David! <gasps> David! No, I got Fliss killed. Oh, and he kills himself, really? He does both? David! <laughs> what? That was like... the most... random way to be like, this is gonna kill your character. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're both controlling one character until Brad shows back up. Who might be dead, because they made him look dead on the ground with blood behind him. Yeah, does not look good. We might finish this game in this episode. There's only two people left. What is even happening in this game? I don't know anymore. This way, I guess. Oh, come on! It's like that fucking 
moving with the ship in the, the water. Way less dancing. God damn it. What the fuck are you Don't talking you about? Level, at least? I hate you, Alex. Why did Fliss have to die? Why did you get Fliss shot and not him? I don't know. I figured if anybody was going to get shot, it was going to be him. Because I was going to be the one to be like, I was going to say that there's somebody else in the other room, so he would be like, oh, you guys are cool. Let's kill Olsen. Mm, I didn't even think of that. Guys? I was just thinking if he thought, if, if he said that, maybe he'd think we both breathed in the mist. Well, you got Fliss killed, David. Yeah. I'm, I'm very of... upset with you. I'm upset with me, too. I did not think the oh, vault. Julia, I don't. figured, if anything, he was going to shoot Alex. Well, she was making moves for the gun, I guess. Yeah. Technically. This was. I was so I was wondering. I there's a guy I follow online. I was telling David before, and his playthrough was much shorter than ours so far. Yeah, so... And I was wondering how he had a much shorter one. I'm wondering if you can end this game stupid early. Yeah, like, just legitimately get everybody killed and have nowhere else to go. Well, because the thing about Until Dawn was, like, you couldn't get anyone killed until, like, halfway through the game. Yeah, And then the next person you could get killed was, like, two chapters later. Like, most of the deaths were towards yeah. end game. Yeah, they made sure you at least got through bulk of the game first. So, yeah, it could be possible that... They planned out many more branching paths. That, or just... It's possible that they didn't go through the rest of the game with only, like, two people. Well, because if we assume Brad is dead, because we have not seen Brad since that moment, and it looked like he was dead, because he had, like, Conrad on the ground, blood behind him. Yeah. But... And it doesn't tell us who's actually dead. It just said we got a character killed, and we know Conrad died. Yeah. So, it could just be Alex and Julia left now that you got Fliss shot. I know. This may be a really short playthrough where we do have to play again and be like, okay, uh... Yeah. Like, if this all ends in the next hour... Whoa! There was Brad's ghost. Maybe he's not dead. No, I think he's dead. Probably. But... Wouldn't it be the first time they've made it look like somebody was dead, only for them to come back, like, hours later? That's true. But the blood does make it a little less likely, but maybe they were showing us that we were hallucinating. Maybe. I'm wondering if Brad's gonna be like our Jessica from the first game. Yeah. Oh god. Everyone better be okay. Because he seems to be, just this whole game so far has spent most of the time not in it. That's very true. Even on the boat and stuff, like, because yeah. we had him drink the beer. Yeah, like, he was out of it the whole time. Like, up until we decided, like, oh, he might drown, let's go get him. So it very much makes me wonder, like, if he is coming back, because otherwise it's like, why have him in there if he's really just not doing anything? <laughs> yeah. So, to all field officers, the scale of our search and recovery mission across the area have yielded results far greater than expected. Unfortunately, there is a short now a shortage of adult caskets. If you locate the remains of any missing persons at the water purification plant, you have to use the small caskets. I guess it'll have to be Hawkins, poor bastard. Almost, there's almost nothing left of him. I know this isn't ideal, guys, but they'll give him a proper funeral and respect he deserves once he get back. The body is back uh, home. We'll just have to make this work for now. So the kid casket is a guy. It's not a kid. Yeah. They just ran out of adult-sized caskets. So that's good to know. I'm curious because we have all these secrets. Um, so new bearings. Oh, yep, we finally got the last one we were missing. They gave their coordinates. The powers restored. The radio came back to life. The voice on the radio said help was coming. Junior. Alex and Fliss found the rebreather and decided to take it with them. But they lost it when Olsen chased them, so that's why he couldn't really go through the... So yeah. if you hadn't lost it then... Yeah, had I not failed the... So they failed to take talk Junior down, and he shot Fliss. And then he shot himself. So Fliss is 100% dead. Yep. Um, and Conrad is... Right? It was this one? No. Which one? Is this Conrad? I don't see... There wasn't one in here that killed Conrad. 
But Conrad is definitely dead, and Fliss is definitely dead. Yep. Makes me very sad you got Fliss killed. Same. I was really hoping she was going to survive all this. Oh! Yeah, that's, that's exactly uh, the type of things I would be saying. A ship where people killed themselves. What the hell is this place used for? We're very nonchalant about a lot of this. Yeah. That's kind of the thing that really just jumps out the most. And it's always her. Like Actually, I, her and Alex. Yeah. Her and Alex are very nonchalant. That's why they're made for each other. We jump down into all the mist. Yeah. And she's the only one now who doesn't know about it. And she has no idea. What is happening? Oh, those are the three casket things. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it was Olsen. Yeah, why would you follow Olsen's voice? Chill. Okay, chill. And he's got the cap Nobody in his hand. Again, that's because of you. Uh. Uh. Well, we don't actually know. Okay, okay. Okay, Move good. I started to back off. Simmer down. Like, we could have just still failed to got it, even if I hadn't failed everything. Can we chill out for a second, please? I don't think that's... Seriously, guy? A sledgehammer is not fucking chill! You're trying to talk him down. Why are you being insane and being like... Oh, he opened the bulkhead door, flooding the cargo hold. Spoiler alert. I know. Way to kind of throw that out there a little too early. I mean, kind of could tell that's what was about to happen, but... I didn't know that was what's about to happen. Is that Alex? Like, was that actually Alex? That, or it was just her seeing him as Alex again. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh -oh. I think this is very much the potential moment for... It's all on you, Matt. Whatever, they're gonna die. Yeah. I'm so disappointed. Because they're all going to be dead. Yeah, I'm not liking our odds so far. Oh, no. But never know. Oh, yeah, it was it Alex. It is Alex. Okay. Come save the day, Alex. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. It's going to get in the water now. Get out of there! Come on! You're not going to try to help your fiancé? I know. You just run away and tell her to make it on her own. Really, Alex? I don't like Alex. He's the worst. Yeah. I liked... Alex and Conrad are essentially the two I... This whole time, I have not really enjoyed. Yeah. Did she drop the distributor cap? Like, I've tried to give him moments, but... Then he just does stupid crap. Yeah, he has his moments, but yeah, then he has stupid crap. Like, I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Oh, it's bad. oh god. Oh god. What's happening? You gotta get out now. Now. Oh god. I might have just killed Julia. Maybe. Or at least the distributor cap, because that might be what comes down on it. Oh! You might kill Olsen though. Well, I definitely killed Olsen. Yep. Oh. I thought the, the square prompt was a, a quick time and not a uh, smashing. Yeah. So I got that just in time. Yeah, it keeps throwing me off that it's literally the same type of circle, but one is... Yeah. You did that, Alex. You did that! <laughs> hey, it's still, 
It's still in working order. Uh oh. Guys! We might be able to leave! I mean, technically we could. Everybody's dead. Yeah. So Problem is they don't know that Brad's probably dead. There's still that doubt that he could be alive. Not that they've shown much concern for him throughout this game. No. So wait, if this is the end of the game, what was that whole Skeletor shining ballroom bullshit? I don't know. Like, that's one hell of a hallucination to have. Hello? Wait. <gasps> Brad's alive! Nope, Brad's dead. This seems like the most throwaway reveal. I know. If it literally ends with Alex walking off it fading to black and then we never talk about Brad again... Is that what's about to happen? Wow, Brad is the most... Brad got shafted! That's such a... Bullshit! Is that really going to be the end? Yeah, that's... I think that's the end of the game! We survived until daytime. We have the distributor cap. There's a lot more here going on than we uncovered. Oh, yeah. Okay, I guess it's time to see if it's working. Oh, my lord. This is really the end of the game. Huh. Which is weird, because somebody told me that the game had more acts than this. So I'm wondering if you had done things differently throughout the night, if the game would be longer, or if there is only three acts, and... It's just like the... Just depends on who lives. But, like, we had, like, nothing revealed to us other than it's a chemical weapon hallucinogen. I this thing where... I was never upset or disappointed. So if it is a hallucinogen... Bullshit about all the different parallel realities oh god, are they about to talk about the butterfly no effect again? What, no matter how bad things seemed, there were always at least a couple other realities where things were probably even worse. Is this their way of telling you to replay the game? Probably. He was an asshole. I'm really glad she's talking about her brother. Yeah. Because no that was the worst way to be like, I'm going to miss you, Brad. He was an asshole. He's a big old puppy dog. Yeah. Just try to make everyone laugh. <laughs> Is no one steering the boat? <laughs> it drives itself, Matt. They very much kind of overlooked the fact that the captain's dead, so somebody has to be, uh... If Brad gets up because his medical professional brother did not check his damn pulse... Okay. Okay, I was about to be real pissed. Yeah. Because I was like, there was I didn't see any of the blood under him that time, but it's probably just that camera angle. So this is the thing that gets me about this. We didn't even know we killed Brad when we killed Brad. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they showed the blood onto him, but it was such just a random... Yeah, that's... That's Man of Medan! Huh. This is the thing, okay? I really hope that if you do things differently, there's more to it and not just... I both do and do not want to replay this game again on the channel. Because I'm like, there's no way for us to skip dialogue, so it'd be literally another six-hour journey for us. That's it. Yeah. Game over. You're done. We could always... Now, please. 
I don't know. We'll talk about this later, but let's see what he's saying. Do better next time around. Yeah, we can always try to go through like the early stuff on our ending. own, and then. Yeah. Or maybe it is. I'm wondering if they'll Depends show us how many different happy. endings there are. Really. I suppose when the curtain falls, you're either ready for it or you're not. It's all about huh. decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are uh -huh. repercussions. There are always repercussions. I understand how causation works. Yeah. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain. So we will meet again. I have a lot of emotions right now. Inevitable. I do, I have a lot of emotions. So Won't despair me over till another year. Won't despair me. Alright, I'm gonna mute the game because it's a song. But I have a lot of emotions about this. It's not a bad experience for what, the, what was this, five hours? This is about a five hour experience, Some maybe six, five to six. Mm. Not bad for the cost. 30 bucks, five to six hours, perfectly good. What's getting me about this game when compared to Until Dawn is this game, It definitely has a horror plot, because that would be a horror thing. Oh, the ghosts weren't real. They were a hallucination. Hallucination, You know. that That's a horror plot. We've seen that before. Um, so I'm not disappointed in that. The, the hallucination plot thing is fine. What gets me about it is the way in which they just kind of quickly come to a conclusion without really explaining other things. Yeah, there's really no payoff for anything. No. Like, the two the two spinal column head thing. You see that as both a hallucination that the military guys have and as an actual skeleton that we, we don't think is a hallucination between the three of them. And so there hasn't been, as far as we know, a shared hallucination. They each have a hallucination, but not one that is universally shared. Yeah. So, like, what was that? What was the weird journal Fliss found of, like, the rituals and all of that? Yeah. Was that purely a hallucination, or was it not? Like, you don't really get that payoff? Yeah. Like, it It had... At least in the ending we got. Yeah. Like, that whole second act was really well the done. The second act was amazing compared to the first and the third. Yeah, and then it just kind of falls flat after that because it's like you're having all these things you're building up to and then it's just, yeah, in a matter of minutes, it's over. Yeah, and I'm wondering if the third act would be longer or better had Brad not died. Yeah, had because Brad, Brad was Conrad. in a separate part. Brad was in a separate part of the ship had he not died, you know. But yeah, it's like you have them hallucinating and then suddenly they realize it and it's just, they're fine. Well, and this, this was, so this is... like the whole thing with like Olsen, Danny, all that, like the other people are hallucinating, but now all the characters are fine. Yeah, and I think this spawns from what we were talking about the other day, which is probably my biggest gripe of the game, is you don't get a good sense of what impact your choices and I mean, you're not supposed to know what your consequences are in a choice. We don't know when we make it in real life. But what gets me about it is you're not given the context of your choice very well. Like, Conrad and the jump thing is the perfect idea or example because it says jump. And he doesn't jump. And I can't see necessarily where we are. Like, is there something to jump to? Is there not something to jump to? Like, those are things we would need to know in that context. And Until Dawn did that very well. They gave you the context you needed to possibly make a choice. This one, I don't feel we had as much context for certain choices, for certain big choices. Like, again, the Brad thing. We see a ghost, we're hallucinating, and 
it says to for him to climb down and i go to climb down and then it breaks and rusts under him and he dies what other i had no other prompts yeah i had nowhere else to go yeah so that just feels like one of those things like i guess something earlier led him to uh uh-oh is danny alive oh boy danny like if you hadn't messed up the heartbeat thing is that telling us we could have gone in and seen danny maybe and gotten out of here with danny and here's the military oh wait game volume there you go my bad So we actually did talk to the military. That was not... Yeah, so that was true. So out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real-life ghost ship here. You're not going to be surprised by the recently dead bodies you're going to find? I know. Caskets open. We closed that. Or, or closed. We opened that. Whoa. That's an inconsistency. What the hell is this? You're military, you know what that is. Those are dead bodies being sent home. Yeah. It's in every war movie ever. If they open the fucking chest and it's a two-headed demon, I'll be pissed. I have no idea what's about to happen. What the fuck? Okay, Danny. Really? Oh, this is the next one. So the next one seems to be about witches. Oh, that's what he was hinting at. Maybe in a little hope. 2020. Is that like a Blair? It's a Blair Witch ripoff. I read the most. You kill the character. Okay. So this is so this is the thing because this is an anthology, right? Hmm. There's going to be some that we like, some that we don't. Heart special. I chose the most heart decisions. What are the so like our heart decisions are more like emotional and brain ones are more rational? I don't know. They didn't really explain that. No, it's just something they keep popping up, but they don't tell you what exactly yeah. it. Uh... So, but yeah, I guess it's probably you made more decisions by the heart. By the heart and not the mind, more emotional and less rational decisions. Um. But anyway, so that's Man of Medan. It is an anthology series, so we just saw the next one, which comes out next year. We'll play it. I'm excited to see it because it looks like it has more promise than this one did. Because um, honestly, I didn't know a lot going into this one other than that it was a ghost ship. Mm. And I think I saw a trailer and, you know, you saw the ghosts and the sunken face and that was about it. But that one looks more like hopefully supernaturally. Um, and I have a feeling each of these anthologies is going to be like... A different horror trope. A, a different horror trope. So like... You know, this one is the, oh, it's the hallucination. Your psyche's your biggest enemy or something yeah. like that. It's made them make it look like it's a ghost thing, but really it's really the same not. thing with, like, the, you know, Until Dawn. Like, it's supposed to look like it's just your typical, you know, right. horror thing with kids trapped in a cabin. But, hey, actually, there's Wendigos. We still didn't get a ton of the pictures. Yeah. And definitely not a lot of the secrets either. Um, so here's some new secrets. So we got the nautical chart. So we saw that we were trying to go to San Francisco. We saw uh, that they did not know their location when they anchored. Uh, navigator's notebook. The ship had been blown off course. The ship, the plane was looking for the ship. The radio command. Um, final Mayday broadcast, which we saw at the start of the game. Memo stating, so yeah, so one of the bodies could be the one in the casket, uh, updated, There, it was used to transport an adult and not a child. 
Um, Scientist X stating what was the code name of Cherry and Gold was an investigation into disturbing chemicals on the battlefield. The chemicals caused violent, paranoid hallucinations. Um, it was gunned down from the Medan, and the gunners of the ship attacked the sea rescue plane. So, yeah, there was nothing paranormal about this. It's all scientific. I mean, we were missing still a good chunk chunk of the secrets, but all of the conclusion threads seem to lead to this idea of like this one. It's yeah, it's a chemical, chemical that leads you to hallucinations, which we naturally saw like with the sledgehammer and knocking out the bags, and it's like, yeah, and and we suspected that early on. But my question is, what the fuck does the lightning then do to start the gas? I guess it just somehow penetrates and burst one of the one bags. of the sacks or something yeah i just i don't know it just it feels weird that after like kind of the bulk of the second act that most of the third act they're fine like if that's true there was nothing spook and again it could be because of the characters that we got to survive true but it's like everybody all the the three guys who were there with us are all freaking out no longer see anybody as friendly like they're all paranoid this and that like violent towards each other oh we can jump around interesting but whereas like the player characters like after seeing conrad they're then just no longer hallucinating they're all perfectly fine like trust each other like yeah i was very much like expecting some kind of build up of like you need to be careful, like what you choose, because you might be attacking a friend or this or that. Or yeah, instead it was just normal. Like, nope, we know exactly what's going on now, so we're fine. <laughs> yeah. So. So there was a lot of room for them to play up on that. That just never happened. Yeah, I at the moment I'm not disappointed. I'm underwhelmed by by Man of Medan, um, as far as the plot goes um because like some of like even the heartbeat mechanic didn't come into effect that much uh your choices seem to not really have any long lasting effects like even like oh he got the knife and then oh the knife fell to this guy and then that was it it's it seems like we ended up doing a shorter version of what the game could have been yeah um so what I'm thinking is there's this scene selection. I don't want to make a final judgment. We typically rate the games, the long plays at, at the end. I don't want to rate it yet until we can see if we can go back and do a scene selection and jump around in that regard and see if we maybe we can go back and try to save yeah. some of these people. Like if it turns out if everybody survives, there is significantly more to it. That yeah. would drastically change my opinion um but at the moment outside of act two yeah so highly disappointed on the others yeah and 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 i'll like we said we'll do little hope when that comes out next year because that uh, that looks pretty that looks pretty good i i'm always up for more like weird supernaturally the blair witch kind of stuff but we're gonna end this episode here it is shorter than the other two parts and this might be the final video. It might not. We'll see. Because uh, we're going to go back and try to record and, and, and see if we can make people survive. And if it doesn't work out that way, we won't. We, we just won't upload it. But if, if it does, we'll upload it and you'll see it. It'll pop up in the playlist as the next video. Yeah, if we can get um, something drastically different for like, yeah, the and final. If the, titles, if the title of this video says finale, this is obviously the last one too. But if not, look for part four. Um, as it stands, I would honestly rate this game... Uh, two and a half to three nurse jennies or sailor jennies same and that's two 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 and a half to three yeah and that for me right now is only because of act Act two two. yeah like had that been able to carry into the final act and through to the end we could be looking at at another four or five game yeah but instead it kind of just because for me i i put until dawn at like a, a four and a half hmm like like for like I I very much like until dawn. Yeah, and they were very much building up to that point, and then it just all fell apart. Yeah. So all right. yeah, I'll be curious to see if you get to that point with everybody alive, if there's a drastic improvement. 
Yeah, so we will pick this up hopefully in the next one. Otherwise, we will see you guys uh, in our next uh, Let's Play. But thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.